two million tons of earth had to be decontaminated. It would be the largest soil cleanup ever attempted in Britain. I'm actually a Londoner myself, so it's, uh, it's quite close to, to my heart, this project. The work that we're doing here isn't just for the game. Gigantic soil washing machines eradicated the contamination. Almost every polluted grain had to be cleaned. Claire Stavely was in charge of operations. The site, because of its past uses, has various contaminants in it, such as heavy metals, arsenic and lead, mercury, zinc and copper. There's also hydrocarbons from oil tank leaks. You're trying to stop this entering into the human and the animal and the plant life. To stand any chance of cleaning all the soil in time, the team had to keep an incredible pace. We start work at 7 o'clock in the morning every day and we finish work at 7 o'clock every night. Uh, we work Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The soil washers took in dirty soil. The sand and gravel were separated by size and rinsed to extract the pollutants. Huge electromagnets stripped out scrap metal. The soil underwent rigorous testing in the laboratory to assess its health. For the team, awaiting the results was often an anxious time. You have to wait and see what the results are like. Uh, tested the labs a lot to get turnarounds on that. But it's very exciting when it comes through and actually it's clean enough to be used at a point where you could literally stick your hand in and have a little kid swallow it and it wouldn't be a problem. Instead of millions of tons, only a fraction of contaminated soil had to be sent to landfill. And mounds of clean earth could be transported for use on site. Some may have thought attempting to reuse 80% of the soil was impossible. But for Safina, reaching 85% reuse had made it all worthwhile. We've actually managed to do better than has been done before. So we've set the bar and shown all projects, actually this can be achieved.